principle one, put the well-being, development and progress of children and young people first. For me, it is all about the children and their welfare and letting them kind of succeed, I guess. Any issues about that? You're just inspired by it? Um, I think I'm inspired by it, and it's probably sort of why you are a teacher, isn't it? It's to help children. And I guess it's important to kind of maybe ensure that the children do come first. It's not necessarily about you and what you enjoy. It's about them and what will help educate them. Obviously, that is really important, but however, if you're having a really bad day or something's happened, you need to try and stop that and put a wall up and not think, think about it later so that the children don't come off as that. So you do need to look after yourself as well as, obviously, the children. But um, hopefully, if professional enough, you'd put a front on and deal with it later outside the classroom. I think that's a really interesting point, isn't it? There's, there is, I mean, the, the principle says, put the well-being, development and progress of children and young people first. And if you're always putting them first, you might come to a point where you've got nothing left to give. Obviously, you've got to maintain like, your health and happiness as well um, so that you're the best that you can be for the, for the children. So there's, there's obviously going to be a little bit of a facade, if you like, while you're in the classroom. But obviously in the classroom isn't the time for you to like, have your breakdown. But maybe yeah. behind the scenes, yeah. you, like, you have to look after that. This point you've raised that I think is really interesting because it reminds me of going on an aeroplane and they're going through the safety procedure. What do they say about the oxygen mask? When the oxygen mask comes down, you've got a child. Who do you put the oxygen mask on first? You. You put the oxygen mask on your face first, otherwise you're not going to be able to help the child. Students were discussing how to put the well-being and development and progress of young people first. Uh, sometimes that can be quite challenging to them because uh, on the one hand, uh, putting uh, children first, it means that they're, you know, they're investing a lot of good intentions in that and they, do, they, they may make judgments out of the best of intentions, uh, but sometimes it may not be the most professional way to do something. I mean, here's a situation for you. This teacher was really concerned about this child coming into school increasingly unkempt, increasingly a bit smelly and unwashed, and couldn't, you know, sent messages home, getting no response and what have you. Went round to the house eventually, you know, very well intentioned. What did she do? She did number one. She put the well being of the child first. Couldn't get in touch with the social worker, couldn't get in touch with the parents. I've got to, you know, this is at the point I've got to do something. And she went round to the house to see if she could help, to offer help. Of course, the parents came in, <coughs> complained. There are occasions when teachers are doing things out of the best of intentions but they may be doing them without referring to the wisdom and the maturity of more senior colleagues, more experienced colleagues, or where they may not be aware of the policies and established policies and procedures that are there to protect children and to, to protect them. Um, so putting the interests and the development and the progress of children first is a key principle but of course it's one that uh, teachers do have to separate from good intentions.